Hi friends, sorry very welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about a PLS called bulk collect with select into statement. Okay, so uh, we already learned that bulk collect is all about reducing overhead caused by context switches to increase the efficiency of the query. The same thing we will understand here with with the with the with the code actually with the program following program. So here I am going to explain you the same thing and then I'll give you the result as well. I'll show you the solution also how bulk collect help us to and to make the query make the code efficient. All right. So here I have written a small program. In this small program in begin section, what I have done here, I just have written a select query select first name into v underscore f name. V underscore f name is a variable. Here I have declared the variable actually from employees table. Okay. So what happened in this you know uh, in this code? When, uh, when we select any data from any table into our variable so what happened uh, let's say we have you know we have uh, uh, total let's say we have total 100 rows in this table okay so what happened two uh, you know different engines SQL engine and PLSQL engine works on this uh, code to get the data actually so first of all you know PLSQL engine Sends the the data to SQL engine actually. Okay. Then SQL engine process it. Okay. SQL engine process it and SQL engine returns back the data. Uh, returns back the data to PLSQL uh, engine. Okay. So after doing that, uh, we get our result. If if we have hundred rows here, so hundred rows will be sent, will be getting sent by the PLSQL engine to SQL engine. Okay, hundred rows, and then the same hundred rows will get back from SQL engine to PLSQL engine. Okay, so in this case, what happened? Unnecessary, you know, hoping is getting increased. Hundred times it has to hope from PLSQL engine to SQL engine, then it has to get back from SQL engine to PLSQL engine. So you know, two hundred hopes are happening here so because of these 200 hops uh, the query is getting decreased the performance of the query is getting decreased so in this case to solve this problem bulk collect comes into the picture okay so uh, when when we you know when we do bulk collect at that time what happened instead of doing this 100 hops from plsql engine to sql engine it just clubs all the you know all the record and just sent in one shot so one shot from PLSQL engine to SQL engine and then get back all the data from SQL engine to PLSQL engine so in that case while we are using bulk collect only two hops are happening so this is what actually bulk collect is doing and uh, this is what how we are increasing the performance of the query using bulk collect okay so here uh, I was just trying to explain you the same thing using this code i have declared the variable uh, nested uh, nested table type uh, type i have cleared, uh, declared first then i have declared a variable of this type and i have then i have used this select code to get the data but actually this code is not correct this is a dummy code which on execution raised error because we cannot use locally created collection with a second sql statement as we are doing here okay because I have created a local, a local, you know, type, and I cannot use this type in our, uh, you know, locally created type in our uh, SQL code. So this is just to explain you what actually happens when a code get executed in Oracle Engine. Okay, so I just written it to understand the context switching and it, how it works actually. So let's modify this code first. Okay. So again in declaration section things will be same I we have to declare the type first here I have declared the type of nested table type then I have declared a variable of this type actually and then in begin section what I'm doing let's let's uh, delete this first yeah so in begin section what I'm doing I have done select first name bulk collect into v underscore nt sorry v underscore f name name of the variable is v underscore f name so this you know this magical word bulk collect into is you know clubbing all the rows together in one variable 
okay from employees table so this is the only thing what we can how we can use the bulk collector okay so uh, so the code what i have copied from here let me paste it and before that let me copy this you know let me show you uh, the output of this code actually we, we will not get any output I, i'll just show you how to i mean how this code will get executed so let me copy this and paste in a sql workshop here control v let me increase the font size first yeah and uh, let's run this code simply we will we'll get output as statement processed correct so this is how you know bulk collect using this bulk collect into statement we can get all the first name into one variable actually okay now now what's the requirement is what if we want to print the value actually so for that i have written this for loop control x and uh, let me paste it here control p so in this for loop what i have done uh, for i in 1 2 v underscore f name dot count so it will take all the values the count of the f name count of the f name which is actually getting stored in in our variable v underscore f name so it will take all the all the you know count and uh, this is a for loop and here i am simply printing the value using dbms underscore output package and v underscore v underscore f name and uh, this is the index value so one by one it will get the value and it will print the value actually okay so let us copy the code and print uh, paste in our sql workshop and get the output actually yeah so i copied it let me run this and as you as you can see we got the value we got all the first name in our one variable and we just printed that uh, variable actually okay so this is how bulk collect we use bulk collect to get the data and we can you know we can increase the performance of the query actually hope this tutorial is uh, clear to you for any example for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much